Tiger sharks are known for eating pretty much whatever they can find, but recently scientists found something in tiger sharks' stomachs that was kind of unexpected. Songbirds. In 2010, scientists were surveying tiger shark populations on the coast of Mississippi and Alabama, and one of their shark subjects barfed up something kind of unusual. It was feathers that they didn't recognize. They didn't look like they belonged to a seabird, like a pelican or a gull, and that was kind of weird. So the scientists did some DNA analysis, and they found that the feathers belonged to a songbird. Now, this is kind of strange, because songbirds, they live on land. They do not fly over the ocean, except when they're migrating. So, the scientists were like, okay, well, this is kind of weird, but maybe this is something that happens more often than we think, so let's investigate this. So, for the next eight years, they looked at the contents of tiger sharks' stomachs, and they found that of all the sharks they captured in that time, it was a little over 100 sharks, about 40% of them had songbirds in their stomachs, like all different kinds of songbirds, like sparrows and doves and barn swallows. And what the scientists figured was that when these birds are migrating, sometimes storms come up and the birds can get blown out to sea. Now, seabirds, they can land on the water and, you know, take a little rest and then take off again. Songbirds can't really do that. So once they fall into the water, their feathers get all waterlogged, they're kind of an easy meal for a shark to just kind of pick off. And they actually, of all the sharks that had songbirds in their stomachs, about half of them were baby sharks. And that might be because a songbird yeah, maybe isn't, you know, that much of a meal. It's like maybe even less than a mouthful for an adult shark. But for a baby, that's actually, you know, a pretty substantial snack. So, and also they're kind of easier to catch. So possibly the baby sharks were eating more of these exhausted and drowning songbirds because they were an easier and more filling meal.